Let's take a look at the back panel to see how we make connections. We have the power switch and power connection here. Then we have audio outputs with headphones and stereo or mono main outputs. There's a control pedal input, MIDI input and output connectors. USB for connecting to a computer and a USB memory port. The guy is portable and when you run it on batteries, you can be making music anywhere. Setup is so simple, all I need to do is plug in audio or headphones, I'm ready to go. Let's go back to the synth pad we used a few minutes ago, and I'd like to show you the layering of tones. This part of the synthesizer is called a tone, but three tones are available to be layered or stacked on top of each other for bigger or more complex sound. This sound uses one tone. Using the tone two switch, I can add another tone like this. Tone two by itself sounds like this. I created tone two by editing the sound of tone one. Here's how. I started with tone one. Tone one is using the filter in a low pass filter mode. It lets low frequencies pass and takes out high frequencies. The filter can run in other modes. For this sound, we will use the filter in high pass filter mode. So it will take out low frequencies. This is basically what we have in tone two. Combining the two sounds, we have this. And with the third tone available, we'll add with one octave lower. I have this huge sound. Let's examine a few aspects of that bass sound we were using. The oscillator controls pitch, so generally for a bass sound we'll probably tune down an octave or maybe two. The envelope of a sound is important and we've already shown attack and release time controls. There are two other controls in the envelope generator section, the decay time and sustain level. The decay sets the amount of time for something to fall or fade away to the sustain level. Now that's easier than it sounds. Let me show you. With sustain at zero, this bass note fades away to no sound. The time it takes to fade is controlled by the decay time. These notes all fall silent because we had no sustain level. Let's add some sustain. You can hear that the note is still playing after the decay time. This is the sustain level. The filter also has an envelope generator to control the cutoff frequency. You can hear how the decay time on the filter is a key part of this sound. We can also add some attack time to the filter envelope generator. Here's a type of synth pad with a filter sweep added by the filter's envelope generator. the attack time is controlling the filter cutoff frequency. Here's another lead sound, this one using the sync feature for a ripping sound that really cuts through a mix.
The sync creates this unique sound by combining the two oscillators from tone one and tone two. This sound is being controlled by the LFO. The LFO is used for vibrato or tremolo type of effect. This is the rate control of the LFO. It's easy to hear what it does. The LFO has different waveform shapes available. Let's apply that LFO to another lead patch, the one that we were using earlier. If we apply the LFO to the pitch, we get vibrato. You can use the LFO to modulate the filter cutoff for tone change effects. Or you can use the LFO to modulate the amplifier for tremolo. Bell sounds are very easy to make. The ring modulator combines tone one and tone two to create metallic sounds. The character of the ring mod can be controlled by the oscillator pitch and detune of tone number two. The SH-01 is ready for all kinds of sound effects. The oscillator waveform can be set to noise, a sound with no distinct pitch. Starting with the bass sound we've been using, I'll change the oscillator waveform to noise. The cutoff and resonance of the filter can be used to further change the noise sound. Here's a sound effect from the presets. 